The movie starts with a strange sight, where a man is searching for his daughter. Suddenly, a horrific monster has appeared before him, and here he wakes up. It means that he was dreaming. His name is, Guan. He is sitting on a hill. Then he begins to throw the stones on a truck, seeing it to drive there. He was a sharpshooter. So those stones exactly hit the truck, and truck starts to lose its control. A man comes out from the truck. He goes to him. He asks, where is my daughter? You are her abductor. But those both men leave from there, injuring him. There are the innocent kids when he checks the truck, who had been abducted by them. He also searches for his daughter among them. But he starts crying, not finding her. Police officers also arrive there soon. Seeing him there, police thinks as he is the abductor of these kids. Police arrest him. Here the history of, Guan, is told. Guan, had a blessed family. He had five years old daughter. But six years passed and she was abducted by someone. And, Guan, had a nightmare on the daily basis. He used to dream that his daughter is imprisoned in an ancient city. Now it is observed that, Guan, is in the police van at a filling station. Then a black car approaches there. And a seated girl there says to him, move into this car immediately. Anyhow, he moves into that car covertly. That girl says to her, I know everything about you even though about your nightmare. Her name is, Ling. She says to, Guan, I will help you to search for your daughter. But you will have to carry out my task in its return. She brings him to a place where a boy is on the TV live transmission. He is telling a story from a novel. A warrior is introduced at the start of the story. Who is being pursued by some people. They want to kill him. Meantime, that warrior's sister approaches there. Who begins to fight them while rescuing him. There is also an another warrior who comes to kill that girl, witnessing it. That warrior cannot save the life of his sister. Coming upside, he ends that aged warrior. The name of this warrior was, Kongwen. At the same time, the armor plate of the aged warrior begins to stick on his body. It was moving. It generates an eye on it after sticking on the body of, Kongwen. It starts to suck the blood of, Kongwen. It addresses it, move with me if you are going to kill that monster. As he thinks then a businessman is delivering a speech in the actual world at that place. He falls down after losing his senses. The live transmission of this novel story is stopped here. And, Ling, tells, Wang, that warrior is going to kill that monster in the end of this story. But it is mystery that it is affecting on the real life. The fictional life and non-fictional life are amalgamating. Here, Ling, reveals a fact. This boy is on the live transmission on daily basis. And he tells the story, taking intervals. And he is going to kill the monster in his novel story after three days. But the scary fact is this, whenever the killing of monster is mentioned in the novel story, my head either falls ill or loses his consciousness. You will have to support me before my head may die after three days. And she says, I will search your daughter in return of this. We have discovered five girls. One of them is surely your daughter. DNA will reveal it. Ling, tells him, this novelist resides in another city. You have to end him, going there. Then, Wang, goes to another city to him. When that novelist asks him, why have you visited here? He tells that I am your admirer. Hearing it, that novelist feels pleasure. And they begin to communicate with each other. One day, Wang, forgets his diary there after meeting with the novelist. In which he had noted his nightmare. Novelist likes that story when he reads his diary. Thinking that I will make it the part of my novel. He restars his novel story as, the warrior named, Kongwen, has gone in search of that monster. That monster was actually the ruler of a kingdom. There is being held a celebration when, Kongwen, reaches there. The eye of Kongwen's armor plate addresses him, that there was another ruler of this kingdom, and he was the military officer of this place. But he kills that king through witchcrafting, and he dominates the whole land. Now this monster king was going to attack on another kingdom. At last, they attack that kingdom, going there. They begin to loot their land, killing everyone. Now there is imposed a curfew, that no one will come out of his house. So all presented people there move to their houses. Now the real world is viewed. Wan, is in the city of that novelist. He is taking rest in his hotel. Then, Ling, begins to beat him, coming there. That I had sent you to kill the novelist not to create the friendship bond. Meanwhile, novelist approaches there. So, Ling, leaves from there. He gives him his diary. Here, Wan, thinks that, I may kill this novelist. But he is unable to carry it out. Novelist informs him that, I have extended my novel story while adding your story written in your diary. And he begins to write the next story, taking the diary from him. Now come to the novel story. When, Kongwen, is crossing that way, then he encounters a little girl child, whose brother had been died. He accompanies her. That little girl child starts playing the flute. Hearing this melody, some warriors approach there and start attacking them. But, Kongwen, flees, taking that little child girl. 
Those warriors' powers begin to reduce as the evening begins to arrive. Taking the advantage of this, Kongwen, escapes with that child girl. Now real life is viewed. Now, Kongwen, makes this plan that, I will end this novelist. And he throws a stone towards him. Which makes him unconscious. He is nearly to kill him. Suddenly, he hears the singing of song which he had taught to her daughter. Looking in his surroundings, he observes that, a boy of 10 to 11 years old is singing this song. He asks angrily from him, from where did you learn this song? Where is my daughter? Because he was not tolerating to meet his daughter. But that boy is afraid, seeing him. He escapes from there. Wan, begins to follow him. He finds the abductor of his daughter where he reaches. He starts to ask him in fury, tell me where is my daughter? That abductor tells that I drugged him enough to make her unconscious. Consequently, she passed away. Hearing it, Guang, loses his temper. He begins to beat him. At the same time, Ling, appears there. And she makes him get in her car. She says, I will help you. Guang, says, I just need to reach that abductor in some way. So I may put him into death. Don't worry. I will also carry out your mission. Just bring that abductor. Ling's head is also hearing this conversation. Who says to, Ling, coming there, I would have not assigned him this mission if I had not compelled. Here, Ling, also saddens enough here. Because she used to respect her head as his father. She wanted to help him. On the other side, Kongwen, and that child girl are shown in the novel. Who were passing through the streets of that city where the dead bodies were lying everywhere. Some people begin to attack both of them. Then the armor plate of, Kongwen, is appeared, having an eye. And it is transformed into a creature. And it kills those people, attacking them. After this, it again appears on Kongwen's body. Novelist is badly wounded. He says to, Guan, I don't know that who attacked me. He begins to tell, Guan, that I have also mentioned you and your daughter in my novel. It is your daughter with whom, Kongwen, is accompanied in the novel. Who is searching for her parents. And that warriors who had come to attack both of them. Actually, he was not there to attack them but to rescue his daughter. It is your role. Because you both have the same mark on your faces. Wan, requests the novelist, can you complete this novel? So I may search out my daughter as soon as possible. Because your novel is similar like the real life. Now they both come to his house where, Wan, observes. There is a photo of Ling's head in the house of the novelist. The novelist tells, this man used to be the friend of my father. But my father passed away in a strange way. Ling, was also hearing the whole conversation. She judges through the conversation of the novelist that her head was telling a lie. That novelist is trying to kill him. Nor he was joined with the monster. She understands that novelist's father and his head were the business partners. So her head has ended his father. Now he was dramatizing the situation so he may also kill his son. Ling, reveals everything to her head while calling him. I used to trust you. But you will also end me after the completion of your mission. So I cannot serve you. In the same way, she is caught by her head's men. They abduct her. Contrarily, Guang, also comes to know what is the reality. Guang, comes to a library, taking that novelist. So they both secure their lives. But the head's men also approach there. And the fight begins among them. Now world of novel is viewed. Where, Kongwen, was going to kill that monster king along with that child girl. His all warriors are sleeping because of the night. Because they could not remain energetic at night. He begins to call that monster loudly. Then a gigantic mysterious monster appears before him. Which had half different face to the rest of the half face. There was also set sword amid of him. He tells, Kongwen, you are the son of my friend. I had killed your father a long time ago. I had sent the men to end you and your sister. But you survived in some way. That monster again begins to attack him. There is started a great fight between them. Kongwen's armor plate is also separated which was set on his body. Now they both were fighting against that monster. That monster was mightiest. He destroys the armor plate. Now he heads to, Kongwen, to end him. But that little child girl begins to play the flute. So its attention may be diverted. That monster become infuriated, witnessing it. And some tentacles appear from its body which drag that child girl to it. But it is seen in the real world that someone has attacked that novelist. And his story has left incomplete till this scene. Ling, also comes here to help them after rescuing herself in some way. They bring that novelist to the hospital. Where Ling's head accepts it that I want to end novelist. And what is the purpose behind it? When all reality is exposed before, Wan. Then he himself goes to complete the novel story. Indeed, Ling's head was just acting to be connected with that novel story. But the child girl in the novel story was really the daughter of, Wan. Head proceeds to stop him but, Ling, pushes him back. On the other side, the fictional character like, Wan, having a mark on his face, he also comes to know that his monster king is the deceptive. 
As that head was deceptive in the real world, he starts to attack him. Now, Kongwen and that warrior together fight with the monster too much. Then they pull the fixed sword on its head downward. As a result, that monster is dissected. Here the novel story ends. But, Wan, is very upset. That he did not get any news to search out his daughter. Then he casts a glance out of the hospital. Where he witnesses that child boy who was singing a song. There is also a little child girl along with him. He comes outside of the hospital while running. And, Ling, is also after him. He senses it that she is my daughter. He starts to sing that song which he used to sing for her daughter. Hearing this song, his daughter turns back immediately. Because she had known that he is her father. Now the end of the novel is also shown. Somehow, that child comes outside from the stomach of that monster. And she unmasks the warrior and also touches the face of her father. It means that child girl and the father had united. And, Wan, had also got his daughter in the real world. Here the movie completes with its upbeat ending. Thanks for your time.